Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to look at how to create a detail page of our application. And from that detail page is where we're going to do an update of our stock level. And it's going to be another short video. So I'm going to switch over to the blog side to show you the codes and then copy and paste it as usual. So in step number one, we're going to create the stock detail template. All right. So that's the code I have here. I'm going to copy this and then create a start detail page or a start detail template so it's going to be very similar to the list of items so i'm going to save this as start detail on the start detail page we want to have the category of the item the item name the quantity the reorder level and also when it was last updated so that's the code I already typed on the blog so I'm gonna paste it here okay and we're gonna add two buttons and those buttons will be used to update our stock level the first one will be issue this item and the second one will be receive this item so I'm going to click on receive item if I bought an item and then I'm putting it in the store so that's like I'm receiving that item if I issue it out to people requesting for the item I'm gonna click on the issue this item button okay so currently it's gonna be a dummy button it's not gonna take us anywhere but we're gonna fix that soon alright so we're gonna have an item name quantity last updated and the reorder level I would not also need the form so I'm gonna take out the form all right so I'm gonna save it and then move to the next step all right so in views the you're gonna create a stock detail view so I'll copy this code and then paste it in views.py Alright, so the stock details view is very similar to the update item view. So just that we don't have the form to edit or modify the content of that data. So we will have a, a query set and then we're going to have a context. So this is what we're going to use to display the details of that item on this page. Alright, so using the query set that item name create set that quantity create set the last updated and the reorder level all right so we're gonna have the query set in the context so that we can use that query set right here all right so i will not need the title i can just remove that as well so i'm gonna save this and then do the next step so i'm gonna make a url all right so this url is what we're gonna click to take us to this detail page like if i go to the list of items i want to have a url like if i click on the the stock level that is number 10 right here if i click on this number 10 i want it to take me to the stock detail page where i can do the issuing and receiving of stock right so that's what we have here so i'm gonna copy this and paste it in url as the py All right, so we're gonna have a URL that's gonna be slash stock details slash the ID of the stock. Then we're gonna have the view name right here and also the name of the URL. Since we have the name as stock details, that's what we're gonna use in the list of items page. All right, so I'm gonna make this an anchor. That is the last step. The quantity, I'm gonna copy this anchor right here and then uh, paste it here and then close the anchor right there okay so I'm gonna change this to detail stock detail save it and then refresh the app and see what we get All right so I'm gonna click refresh 
all right so you can see the quantity is now a clickable link so if I click it it should take me to the stock detail view all right so I'm gonna cut this video here and in the next video we're gonna see how to issue the item and receive them so with that we'll be able to add or subtract our stock level all right so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do click on the thumbs up if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy videos like this See you in the next one.